have been engaged by the KQ in the last 10 years to revitalize the airline and could the cabinet secretary indicate the respective amounts paid to each as well as provide an overview of the recommendations made by the firms. Mr. Speaker, sir, finally, D, what was the rationale behind the decision of KQ to ground Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner registered as 5YKZJ, the, another Boeing 737-700 registered as 5YKQH, uh, KQ, KQH and KQG, uh, that is 787-8, and could the Cabinet Secretary also explain why the option of converting this aircraft to cargo planes was not pursued and identify the authority that approved the removal of parts from this aircraft? I thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Honorable CS, you may proceed to respond. Uh, just uh, by way of introduction, Mr. Speaker, I hope this is the last time I'll answer questions about Kenya Airways because it's our intention to return Kenya Airways to a private company so that the government of Kenya cannot continue subsidizing Kenya Airways and therefore does not have, the public do not have a stake for us to come and answer questions about private companies in Parliament. So our effort in the manifesto of Kenya Kwanzaa to make sure that we offload all the shares that the government owes, uh, uh, owns in the Kenya Airways so that we return it to a profitable private company that will not require the subsidies that we have had to subsidize and convert it. The, if we convert the, the debt that they owe to the government of Kenya into equity, it increases their shareholding. So hopefully our, our manifesto objectives of, uh, uh, of getting a strategic investor will make it the last time we are discussing Kenya Airways. Mr. Speaker, um, as captured in the table below, and I'm sure the Honorable Senator has, uh, uh, has an answer uh, the, the, the submitted uh, statement uh, in good time. As captured in the table below, the Ministry through Kenya Airways reported an operating profit in the first half of financial year 2023, a milestone that it, had, it hadn't reached in the previous six years. The airline, has, the airline has made a significant 120% improvement, reporting an operating profit of 998 million compared with the same period in the previous year where there was a reported loss of 5 billion. The table number 10 will explain. The growth as fueled, was fueled by the 56% increase in group revenue, reaching an impressive 75 billion. Additionally, our passenger number surged 2.3 million an impressive 43% growth from 1.6 million. And our earnings before interest tax and depreciation and amortization and rent costs witnessed a commendable upswing of seven points. Our gross profit improved by an impressive 131%, resulting in these commendable outcomes. We acknowledge that our legacy debt did bring down the impressive operating results primary to the due, the huge forex losses because of the depreciation of the Kenya shillings against the dollar. These forex losses were primarily due to the reevaluation of the US dollar denomination loans and liabilities. These finance charges, this finance charge, charges in total amount of 22 billion and therefore heavily impacted our overall results. Mr. Speaker, the airline industry is highly competitive and therefore profit margins in the industry are thin. According to the International Airport Transport Association, IATA, the average net profit margin for the global airline industry is typically less than 5%. An overview of airline profitability compared to other industries is captured below. Vulnerability to external factors. Um, uh, airlines are highly vulnerable to external factors that can impact the profitability, including fluctuations in fuel prices, currency devaluations, supply chain challenges, and geopolitical events. Capital intensity. Airlines require significant capital investment in aircraft maintenance and infrastructure. We can limit their profitability. This is this unlike other businesses <clears throat> that do not have the same level of capital intensity. Cynicality. The airline industry is cynical and can be sensitive to economic cycles. During economic downturns, demand for air travel may decline 
affecting airline profit, uh, profitability. Regulation. Airline may subject, are subject to extensive regulation, including safety and security requirements, which can add operational costs. Competition. The airline industry is highly competitive with many players operating in the market. Competition can lead to price wars and reduced profit margins. Operati operational challenges. Airline face operational challenges, including maintenance, scheduling, and workforce management, which can impact cost and profitability. Pricing strategy. Airlines often use dynamic pricing strategies that can affect their profit margins. Prices for air tickets can vary widely based on factors like demand, time of booking, uh, and seat classes. Seat class. In summary, Honorable Speaker, while airlines provide essential transportation services, their profit margins are typically lower compared to many other industries, and their profitability is subject to a range of external factors and competitive pressure. Additionally, IATA indicates that the global airline industry is expected to return to profitability in 2024, but financial performance across regions remain diverse. The industry financial are, are, are improving in all regions from the COVID-related depth, depths of 2020, although not all regions are expected to deliver profit this year. Africa remains a difficult market in which they operate, to operate an airline with economic infrastructure and connectivity challenges impacting the industry performance. Nonetheless, despite the challenges, there is still robust demand for air travel in the region, which underpins the continued move towards return to overall industry profitability. Kenya Airways' current performance of financial year 2024 projections are predicated on this forecast, and Kenya Airways' targets to return to profitability in financial year 2024 as depicted in the table below. Mr. Speaker, the table below shows also the loans uh, acquired by Kenya Airways, and I'm sure the Honorable Senator uh, can read uh, from the uh, GOK loans. You can see what we, uh, we've been giving Kenya Airways, including the 10 billion we gave as soon as uh, we, uh, the government came to office. I wish to inform the House that Kenya Airways was not the only recipient of the government assistance, specifically to cope with the negative impact of COVID-19. Various governments in Africa and outside Africa have provided direct support to the airlines. They include Senegal, $128 million, relief package for its tourism and air transport sector. Seychelles waived all landing and parking fees for the period form from April uh, to December 2020. And Cote d'Ivoire waived in tourism tax for transit passengers. In addition, other governments that provided fiscal support to their tri uh, travel and tourism sectors are shown below. From Egypt to Ghana to Zambia to Cameroon, we've given that list. Um, Technically, it is worth noting that KQ has no loan facility from the Export-Import Bank of the United States of America. The U.S. Exim Bank is a guarantor of a facility of $841.6 million, million to procure six uh, 787 aircraft on uh, one 777-300 range aircraft and one Jenks engine. These three nine ninety percent this is 90% of the total facility of the 924 million provided by Citibank and JP Morgan Chase Bank uh, NA. Mr. Speaker, table below gives a detailed overview of the firms contracted uh, uh, to, to provide services. Mackenzie, uh, Mr. Speaker, operational support uh, in Honorable Project Safari. Yes, just, uh, just pause a bit. What is your intervention, Senator Fernandez? Mr. Mr. Speaker, since I have the answer and I've gone through it, uh, to assist the House to move fast. Okay, okay. If members want to... Um, the, the response has been circulated so, to honorable so, senators. Yes, that is what I wanted to assist the House to move fast, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Would it be in order, I ask my two supplementary questions because so that we make progress as a House. Would that be you better? You will proceed to ask question number 12 number 13 and thereafter you will so i ask the four supplementary yes. question okay so mr speaker since you have given guidance so let me allow me let me so just say mr speaker for the record i think it's important for the answer you just say that in terms of the uh, farms contracted i just read the farms i don't need to read what they do Okay. Uh, Mackenzie was contracted in 2015. If you can paraphrase... Uh, I don't need to paraphrase the rest of the speaker. I just read the names. 
Great. Yeah. Proceed, the, three, the firms contracted are three. Mr. Speaker, for 2015 to 2016 is McKenzie. For 2016, PJT Partners. And uh, 2020, Seabury. I think that is all I can say, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. No, 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 no. Mr. Speaker, there is an important answer, if I may, with your permission, uh, that I am sure even the public will be very happy to, to know. That's the last only one paragraph that is related to the, to the, to the, to the grounded air, airlines. Senator please. Sifuna, what is your intervention? Certainly it cannot be a point. Mr. Of Speaker, you know the CS insisted on uh, giving us the name of the contractors. But my document says uh, McKinsey. Yes, it says McKinsey, um, Mr. Speaker, on the document. Uh, he has told us McKenzie. I don't know if they are the same. Honorable CS, can you clarify that? Mr. Mr. Speaker, uh, let me just refer back to the document. Yes, correct, it's McKinsey. Thank you, it's McKinsey. Because there is another firm called McKenzie. So that's where the. No, 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 not the person. There's a farm called Mackenzie. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, let me just... Uh, um, <laughs> uh, Mr. Speaker, I just want to read this statement regarding... Uh, there, there have been public debate about an, 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 a plan that we donated, so it's important to read it for the record. KQ has not grounded any aircraft, uh, 5YKZJ which is uh, a Boeing 787 a Dreamliner, uh, took some time undergoing heavy maintenance because of an availability of many essential and critical components parts in the aircraft market. These shortages are well published in the industry. 5YKQG and 5YKQH are or were two Boeing B737 700 aircraft in the KQ fleet under the operating lease arrangement. Upon the end of the lease, 